Paul, uh, simple terms, what, what do you think went wrong today? Yeah, I've just said that the, the, the written press, that, and I know it's simplistic, but we kind of keep losing goals the way we're, we're losing goals. So from that point of view, it's a real frustration. I actually thought the first part of the game we were OK without working the goalkeeper enough. We obviously needed to look at that in terms of, but in terms of the build and everything, I thought we were OK, we were gaining territory. And then uh, to lose the goal the way we did is, is frustrating. Uh, and I, I mean, I've said it now, we need to, there's no getting away from it. One clean sheet in 10 games is, is nowhere near enough. So uh, it's up to me now to look at that, how, how we combat that. We need to become more stuffy, clearly, uh, which ultimately will probably affect your talent at the top end of the pitch, but we need to find a way to start keeping clean sheets. Uh, and uh, how I do that, that's, that's uh, down to myself, Danny, Bobby, now to start looking at that and uh, see how we, we rectify that at the at the back end of the pitch because we can't continually score two and three goals to win football matches. It's, it's too much to ask uh, and that was clearly evident today. At the opposite end, uh, there was a sort of reaction from the fans a few weeks ago wanting two up top. They were saying, Aidan Kina, you brought Aidan into the side today. How do you think that worked to that side? Uh, yeah, it's... It's what it is, it's, uh, it's no because the fans have been going on about it, it's because we've scored four goals with two strikers up top in the last two games, that's the reason I've done it, no for any other reason. Uh, and it's how you fit them in and you, in your style of play, we obviously give up one side of the pitch to, to allow that grace. Uh, we've not scored a goal, so that kind of says it all a wee bit, but the, the bottom line is if you, if you stay in football matches, you you give yourself an opportunity to, to win them and we're conceding far too many goals and that's, that's absolutely uh, torturing us at the minute and no gain as a base at any stage. Is the frustration not just the, the kind of number of goals we've lost in the last 10 games you said there but the, the nature of them, is that the more frustrating part? Probably, probably. I, I think you can pick the bones with any goal and say how uh, what went wrong and, and how open yard or, or whatever most goals you can look at and, and say how can we do better but set piece for ones just individual go and stand up and, and be counted as good as a header as it is we expect to defend set pieces a lot better than that for the last one stop crosses coming in the box for the second one so it's it is basics that you need to get better at uh, and they know that they know that it's, a, it's obviously a, when you're uh, dominating possession as we do a lot of the time there is a concentration factor that comes into that as well and uh, you need to stay concentrated throughout as a back lot and it's something that's just not happening. Talk us through the thinking behind the substitutions today. Substitutions today were just at that stage just to get uh, a wee bit more threatened behind uh, with Sam to, to give us that real pace at the top end of the pitch and, uh, and allow us uh, that uh, and McGuffey, I just thought a wee bit more creativity where he could come in and maybe just create something with his uh, creative ability. And then Sebs was to just go and try and have a real go with the last wee bit, but just as he's coming home, we lose the third goal, so it absolutely kills him, basically. Obvious question, Paul, but what's the, what's the morale like just now? It's been, uh, I think, three wins in ten, is that right? Is that affecting the guy's confidence at all? Uh, I think so. I think it would be wrong to say it, it doesn't. I think when you go behind in games, that's when it starts to affect. I think at now now, you probably argue that, that we're OK. The game's pretty even, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we're outstanding or anything, but we were well in the game. Uh, the boys looked upbeat, they looked lively enough. But when you lose that goal, subconsciously it starts to affect you. There's no getting away from it. The stadium is now out of a bed I guess perhaps the more difficult question is on the flip side of that one, Paul, how do you go about restoring that confidence and giving the guys a bit of kind of belief again? Yeah, we just need to keep working on the training ground, which we do, and listen, they come in and they work hard, the response, if there's, there's never a, a day where I feel they, they don't put their work in and, and they don't uh, get about their business, so, and likewise, it's no, it's no through lack of effort that we're losing football matches, it's just a mixture of individual errors and lack of concentration, so they're a hard-working group, responsive group, they've been brilliant for me, uh, granted results haven't reflected that, but uh, we'll continue to keep them working and, and that's all we can do is just show a real ethic to, to get out of the hole we're in. And uh, on to the, the next one now, your thoughts? 
Uh, I don't know, they're, they're, they're all tough games. There's no getting away from that. And uh, we'll go up there, they're always a tough place to go up to Peterhead. And it's, they'll set up, they'll make it difficult. We had a positive result against them here, obviously, and a decent performance. As frustrated as we were, we losing the late goal in that game. But uh, again, we've got, a, we've got a lot to look at. So uh, this one's obviously just a wee bit fresh in the mind at the minute, but as of uh, tonight and as tomorrow develops, we'll get straight on to that. Paul, as always, thanks for your time. Cheers, Lewis.